together with Pablo, I'm really honored to be welcoming you very soon, we hope, into this journey, which for us is about changing the game. The game of life, the game of how we interact, how our economies work, but also how we as individuals work. This year, and in particular this pandemic, has shown us so many of the aspects of the current game of life that need to change. We're facing existential risks in many different ways. And we have the power, we believe that we have the power to change those dynamics, to change those habits, to change that scale of values that have perpetuated this way of living into something that is healthier, more meaningful, and regenerative for us all. Whether it's the way that we relate to each other in society, whether it's the fragility of the systems, the health systems, the work and, and economic systems we have, the political systems we have, and in particular, our relationship to nature, we feel it's exactly the right time to be diving deeper and asking ourselves these core questions about what am I here to do now? And how do I want to be as I'm doing these things? We humans are storytellers and the Game Changers journey is based on one of the oldest and most meaningful stories we have, which is the hero's journey. Is this path towards transformation that goes through the abyss, that goes through this facing your fears and deepest shadows to transform them, to integrate them and to become a master of both worlds. So we have worked over the years with dozens of game changers, people who feel that there really is a need for change and are working really hard towards that and sometimes are blocked or are uncertain how to move forwards in the best way. You might be in a period in your life where you're not 100% certain that you're doing what really makes you passionate, or you're not 100% certain that if you do what makes you passionate, you will be able to live from it. Or maybe you're feeling that a deep change is needed in your life, even if you have enough resources, enough money, even if you feel you're happy, there is something within you that is telling you a change is needed. And in particular, if you've been working to change things in the world, you've been wanting to create good or a world which is, in your view, better than what is happening today, and you just feel stuck, you feel it's not having the impact, you're, you're feeling unable to create what you really feel is important, then we really believe this journey will support you in bringing what is inside of you, the power, the energy, the passion that you have out into the world to really make a world which is transformed. Either if you work within an organization or if you want to change the game that you're playing in your family with your partner, any type of relationship that you feel that is, that, that is bringing you some suffering in your life, that's a possibility for you to change that game. And of, out of that game, how to create ripples out of social transformation. That's the journey, that's the invitation, that's the challenge that we all have. The Game Changers journey is a cycle. It's, in a sense, a spiral upwards that you go around once, and once you've finished it, you start the next one to continually be growing. And it starts with a call to adventure. We sense an uncomfortableness with the current situation and a desire to move. On that first step, uh, it's also really important to acknowledge that you're not alone with these feelings, uh, that you have a, a community and a, a group around you that is going to be part of this journey and is going to be supporting you, you're going to be supporting others uh, throughout this journey. And on that first step, we really focus a lot on what is the current situation that we are in, on, that you are in individually, 
And we as a planet, as a, as a society, are currently living. Mm -hmm. And the second chapter, as we call them, is co crossing the threshold. We realize that we have the power to change, but at the same time, we realize that, that in a way, we are part of the problem. And that in order to start this change process, we need to look within. It's, it's a twofold assuming of responsibility that allows us to embody the, this, this power that we have to change and at the same time put ourselves as the actors, the main actors of this journey. Because until we res assume responsibility, we simply cannot make change happen. We always push it onto others. It's not ours, it's them. So assuming that responsibility allows us to then take that step into, well, if I'm responsible, ooh, then there's darkness. Then there's parts that are in me and outside and that I am responsible for that are really dark and need to change. And that's where we go in the third step. The third step in this journey is going into the abyss, is going into a place in which we can face our fears, face our shadows, and for that, of course, we create um, a safe container for us to go there. We have a lot of different and meaningful embodied activities to support you actually connect and feel the limitations that come from those shadows. So that then in the next step afterwards, you can start seeing a new light. And you may say, I don't have shadows. I mean, I'm a great person. I do good things in the world. And that may be, that most likely is true. And there are always parts of ourselves that we try not to include. Um, there are parts maybe that you see in others that really trigger you, that make you really furious when you see someone else being a certain way or that make you really want to be that way. And our belief is that you have all of that potential within you but you sometimes project out onto others those bits which you don't allow yourself to have. Mm. And going through that abyss, we bring those bits back in and we come back out of the abyss with a larger potential. And therefore, in the fourth step, we bring about a revelation of purpose, this clarity that was maybe impossible with all of these shadows and darker parts of ourselves not taken into account. On that fourth chapter, we try to bring all the elements that you integrated before in your journey together into a form of a purpose, into a form of, of something that will become a tool for you to act in the world, to be connected with something that is meaningful for you that you can share with others. And from that clarity of purpose, we close this cycle before opening it again with a new possibility, a new world, and you as masters of that new world and of the old world you are coming from. And this chapter is focused in actually uh, closing the journey by looking back and, see, and, as, and focusing on everything that you have achieved, everything that you have come up with, all the possibilities, the new possibilities that you see in life, we start sharing that with each other. We start sharing that as a group and we fill the space with a positive attitude, attitude of all the achievements that everybody was able to do because of this journey. We also use the energy of gratitude as a, as, a, as a way to close the space in a proper way so that then you're ready to go out into the world. Besides that, you can expect uh, a lot of different kinds of resources and inspirations on what the change might look like. What, is, what does this change that we're talking about uh, entails? And what is the quality that we need to embody in order to move towards that. So we have different thinkers, we have philosophers, we have different models that would allow us to, to direct our attention in the right direction. So, you, so your purpose, the one that you can create out of this journey, it is aligned with this, this main directions in which uh, humanity uh, is aiming to go. And most importantly, maybe, 
is the people, the participants. And because of the variety of networks we have worked with, the people that we bring and reach out to for this course, there are people working in big corporations, as well as uh, teachers of yoga, as well as people working in NGOs. Um, there is every type of person that you could imagine, all with the same desire to change themselves and the world. And that richness, bringing that richness together, allows each person's experience to be challenged and comforted at the same time. And besides the, the group process, we also offer the possibility for you to, to book a one-on-one -on -one session with us. Um, because we know that there are some moments through the journey in which we feel, you feel, you would feel that you need support. And we are there for you. We want to be there for you. So this one-on-one -on -one session of coaching would allow you to maybe ask yourself the right questions to move past the hurdles that you're finding in your journey or find the right answers to the questions that you have been asking yourself in order to move forward. Our generation has a duty. It, we have only one chance, really, to change the course of human life on Earth, to actually sink again into the natural ecosystem from which we came. And if we don't, we most likely will not be offering our children and grandchildren an Earth on which they can live in the way we have. So if you are at a point in your life where you're feeling uncertain where to go next, or if there are big changes and you need to find some guidance on where to go and what is important for you, or you're in a job, in a, in a situation, and you just don't feel it's quite right, then this is the group for you to come and explore that and to be held as you go through that real deep exploration, um, including every sense you have, including every possible uh, option there is, and also looking at really what the world needs today, at the situation our world is in, and how you can best contribute mm -hmm. to that. Yeah, if you're curious about what is it that you can do to contribute to this social transformation, if you want to connect with like-minded people and be part of a community of game changers, that is working towards this same goal, well, this is the journey for you. So if you are interested, sign up, get in touch, we can let you know more, and we really look forward to seeing you in just a few weeks.